What's going on guys? We're back. It's your boy Kyle, Newcastle Fans TV. Uh, a wonderful Saturday morning. I'm just about to head in and into the city and hopefully park at St. James's Park if that's possible. I don't know whether it is with the Sam Fender gig ongoing, which I didn't manage to get to last night, unfortunately, but it looked amazing. Um, before we get into everything, smash that like button for me because today we're off to pick up the new Newcastle United kit, which is available in the next 17 minutes. I should be there in the next 20. Let's go. So we'll do a little uh, a little chat on the way, I guess. I, um, I'm sure everybody's already seen that the kit was officially released yesterday and it did seem to be, I'm pretty sure it was exactly the same as the one that we posted the other day. So those leaks did prove accurate which also confirms the sponsorship agreement with Seller, the Saudi Arabian events company, which has now transpired, will be overseeing the um, construction and upheat, upkeep and uh, planning of the new fan um, zone for, for coming seasons, which I imagine is gonna be absolutely fantastic because as we know, they are a PIF owned company. So they do have, you know, endless resources is the wrong word, but they obviously are very financially viable. Otherwise, PIF would not have been interested in them. So I'll be very, very keen to see what they come up with. Um, it looks like it's obviously going to be a lucrative partnership at £25 million roughly a season. There was um, talk of a Kuwaiti sponsorship deal who were also front runners alongside seller but they've obviously decided to go to with seller because of you know it will be biased towards the fact that they're, they're by piff and it will be easier to to obviously you know um maintain the upkeep and and, and uh, everything of that sponsorship agreement however they have spoken about this q80 um sponsorship deal coming in into some some different avenue what that is i don't know I have no idea whatsoever. I'm gonna to have to do a little bit more research on that. But I thought I'd give you that little bit of a knowledge before we get there. About 15 minutes away, I'll see you at St. James's Park. Boo -boo! New kick day, blast! So, having spoken to my brother over the phone, he's just informed me that there's a huge queue outside, apparently stretching past the strawberry, but I imagine that's just people backed up because they're waiting for the store to open. The likes of Adam P there already. Um, I was a little bit late leaving, but it is what it is. We'll get there soon. So we've just arrived at St. James's Park and we're just going to head over by the kit. the bed. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So there you have it. Um, we just finished purchasing the shirt. I went in for one, came out with three and a bucket hat. It's, uh, it's difficult not to buy more when you stood in the queue for nearly an hour and a half. I got here at quarter past eight. I've just come out. Um, was looking to get the Champions League badges printed. I'm surprised that I didn't have them already printed, to be fair. 
but upon getting to the queue, they said it was a two-hour wait on top. I was like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not waiting that long. So we'll come back another day for that. But what a beautiful shirt it is. It looks fantastic in person. I think it's probably a little bit bigger um, than what we've had from previous Castore editions. Um, yeah, it looks great. Printing looks great. Badge looks fantastic. Uh, the Champions League badge, from what I saw of people having them on, looked really nice. So I'd definitely be getting that added. That 80s Gaza inspired collar, Whew. looking fresh. Can't wait to try it on properly and show you all. But yeah, like I said, man, the queue is horrific. If you're planning on coming down today, definitely look at going down later. It's really busy at the moment. Um, some poor woman got stuck in the lift for an over, over an hour, bless her. Yeah, so it's uh, it was uh, an interesting experience, but we've got the shirt going to be looking fresh for the next season. Um, Renty and Adam P were not far in front of me as well. So uh, yeah, it's looking good. Sneak peek of Renty doing a video. Looking good, Renty. Oh, yeah, he's son. <laughs> I'm really just trying it on now, mate. I couldn't try it on. Nice, good. Nice, mate. I can't yeah. go now, really. I'll get you in. How are you feeling? Aye, good, mate. Aye, good. Well, I luckily you managed to wingle me way into the queue a little bit there, like, so yeah, people are waiting hours, which is a bit mental. Um, I've got a golf game to go to, mate. That's why my shorts are like this, and you know, the golf golf gear's in the bag, the car's up there, the parking's ran out. <laughs> it's probably going well, to probably gonna be an expensive shirt, this, mate. 70 quid parking fine and 70 quid shirt. Oh, but mate, this is mental, isn't it? To see this many fans on a Saturday morning when the sun's out to queue for a top. Wow. Madness, Nothing like it, mate. Cool. I don't know if you saw the woman that got stuck in the, in the lift as well. Someone was telling us about that, eh? About an hour she's been in there. What? <laughs> they're about to smash the window to get her out, bless her with a babbit. I hope they give her some free kids for that, like, oh, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ, they've got to do that. Um, but yeah, it looks good, mate, it looks good. Cheers, mate, aye. Looks alright, doesn't it? Well, I, I kind of see. I what's, hope it does. I believe you. Fit like compared to the last one. It feels like a nice fit. It feels tighter on the arms. Is I thought it? the away top was tight on the arms, but this one, this one's better. It's just so small, and I'm a big fan of it. Like. Legend. Enjoy again, Rob. Aye, cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Yeah, so there you are. Bumped into Renty as well. Got his say. I didn't want to say it. Um, Adam P letting him slip in the queue. Lastminute.com um, because it was Sergio Ramos. Ground's looking fantastic today, isn't it? With the sun shining. But yeah, it, the shirt looks nice. As you can see, I'm running. It looked really, really good, to be fair. I'm looking forward to trying it on. I actually thought on the face of it, it looks bigger than usual, but he's saying that it's fitting tighter on the arms, etc. So now I'm a little bit worried because I went for a large and I was thinking about getting an extra large because of a little bit of weight I've put on. But we'll see. So I'll uh, do a little fit test. See you in a sec. Mate, this shirt is lovely, absolutely beautiful, lovely fit. Um, yeah. There we have it. New shirt, absolutely loving this. This might be the favourite top, my favourite top I've bought in a long, long time. Fits absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, Renny had it on as well, looking fantastic. Um, yeah, Whew. look at that. Makes me feel hench. Oh baby. Looking fresh. This shirt is the best shirt we've had in a long time. I know we all hate Castore, but whew, they've done a good job. Done a very good job. Champions League badge, two hour wait. We'll be back another day. Noon badge looking good. Look at it, that black and white on the black and white. Oh baby. <laughs> 